Let's cook a spaghetti squash today. A um, couple things. When you buy this, it has to feel heavy in your hands, okay? If you've never bought spaghetti squash, uh, pick it up and feel it. If it feels heavy, it's good. Uh, also, no green spots on the whole thing. And it, it's ready to go, okay? I'd like you to heat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 centigrade. And also, if you haven't subbed and you would, I would really appreciate that. Just turn on the uh, notification button so you don't miss out on any videos. Let's make this. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut off the ends. And now we're gonna cut it down uh, the middle like this. So don't slice it like this. We're slicing it like this, okay? Uh, this is hard, so it'll take a little muscle and a little uh, sawing. <laughs> I'm old, but I'm strong. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna scoop out the seeds with a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna put a little olive oil in on both of these. Just rub it in with my finger. And I'm gonna season this with some salt and pepper. Okay, now we're gonna put it on top of a lined uh, baking sheet or a roasting pan, whatever you have. I'm just gonna put this aluminum foil there for, so that it's not a mess to clean up. We're gonna put it flesh side down. I'm gonna prick some holes in the skin. Guys, this is gonna go in the oven for about 30 minutes. Remember, it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 centigrade. Um, about 30 minutes, we'll check it. If we can pierce it with a fork, it's ready. If not, we'll let it cook a little more. This has been in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's check it out. We should be able to pierce it easily. And now it's still hard. So I'm gonna put it back for another 10, okay? Okay, these took 45 minutes, guys, but you can see that I can pierce through the skin easily. So we're going to flip them. Mm. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we'll start turning it into spaghetti. <laughs> All right, let's start shredding this. Ooh, look at that. And this is why this is called a spaghetti squash because it looks like spaghetti. A lot of people like to use this as a substitute for pasta, actually, and, you know, add a nice tomato sauce to it. Um, also, pesto goes very nicely with this. I like to eat this very plainly. I'm going to show you how. By the way, this took 45 minutes in my oven. Every oven is different, so you just uh, monitor yours, okay? <laughs> I like eating this with a little butter and salt and pepper. If you want to keep it vegan, obviously, you could use a little olive oil. Let's, let's put this in a plate and I'll show you how I like eating it. As you can see, I put a little butter in there, it melted. I sprinkled a little bit of parsley and some pepper. Mmm, let's taste this. Mmm. Wow. That is really, really tasty. There you have it. Easy peasy. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon.